Hi, I'm Dr. Yusuf. I'm going to show you how uh, we do the intravitreal injections or the injections of medication into the vitreous cavity to treat uh, retinal vascular diseases. So, the, uh, this is the eye, this is the cornea in the front, behind it this is the pupil and the iris, and behind that this is the lens, uh, uh, which people, where people get cataract. This is the retina here in the back. And that's where uh, we want to treat. These are the blood vessels of the retina, the retinal arteries and veins. And we want to treat a retinal vascular disease with what we call anti-VEGF medications or steroids sometimes. So what we do is so we can go through the cornea here. And we don't need to go through the... the uh, this is where pe people go uh, with the for the cataract surgery here, this incision here. So we have to avoid that. So there's a gap here, an area, a safe area that we can go through, uh, which is what we call pars plana, this area here, uh, between the ciliary body in the front and the re retina in the back. So this zone here, the middle of that zone is about four millimeters back from the limbus here. So that's where we, we go in with the needle for, to treat retinal vascular diseases. The, so uh, we freeze out with drops, and uh, we go in with a very small needle, a 30 gauge needle, and uh, goes in and out quick. So, and uh, the medication gets injected into the vitreous cavity here. So uh, it floats here and goes, does what it needs to do, and uh, and that's it. We repeat that uh, once a month for most of these medications. And uh, it's a very simple. It's painless. It sounds scary having seeing that needle going through like that. But that's how it's done, and uh, it's a safe and effective procedure, and it's one of the best uh, treatment for uh, disease of the retina. Thank you for watching.